Hello all, welcome to another episode of Python Tips and Tricks. In today's session, we will discuss about tuples. Before going into the tips and tricks, I will give you a small introduction of what tuples are. So tuples are immutable sequence of elements and they are similar to lists but they have certain key differences. Let's see what are the key differences. First of all, they are ordered by which they actually maintain the order in which elements were inserted into them. Secondly, they are immutable, that is you cannot change the elements of a tuple. Third, they support data of different data types and that is they support heterogeneous data types. And last, you can have duplicate elements in tuples. Now let's deep dive into certain tips and tricks in tuples. So let's start off with the basics of creating a tuple. So creating a tuple is pretty simple. Let's take, for example, a tuple of fruits. So we, it starts off with the first bracket and you can add as many elements as you want. So let's have apple, banana, and let's say a cherry. So this is one example of a string based tuple. Then you can also have tuples having different data types as we discussed. Like let's give an, create a tuple which has attributes of a person. So this would be something like first we'll give the name of the person, John, then his age, which is an integer, 25. Then he is a male and his height is let's say 170. So you can see that it's a mix of both strings and integers. You can also create something like this. Also, you can create a tuple of only single list. So we can actually create single top equal to and assign let's say just a number and assign it like this and this will also work now let's actually look into some other uh, functions like accessing elements so accessing elements is similar to what we do in lists as well and we can call them uh, like this so let's suppose we have a tuple of coordinates and we will put some random values out here and then if you want to uh, like get the first element what we can do is like let's say x equal to co coordinates 0 and when we print so it should be same as lists so and when we actually print x it should give us 10 so as you can see the overall functionality is same like lists and another thing which is similar to lists is the slicing of parts of the tuple so let's also see that how it works so as you know as you remember in case of uh, like lists uh, as well here as well we can actually slice elements using the same concept so let's say if we want the x and the y coordinates of the above example uh, what we can do is let's say x y and we then do coordinates 0, 1, 2 and then print x, y this should give us 10, 20 as you can see it gives us the x and the y coordinates now in terms of concatenation it's simpler than in case of lists and let's see how so 
what we can do is just use the plus operator here so let's see how so let's take another random two random tuples so t1 and t2 and then we will concatenate them so to concatenate we can just use t1 plus t2 and if we print now t3 it should give us all the elements added into a single tuple as you can see 10 20 30 40 50 60 in terms of actually creating a um, repetitive ele elements in a tuple we can use the same function that we use in case of lists and that is using the multiplying uh, function so let's see that how we can do it so let's say we take a certain tuple and multiply it with a factor so i will take this string as hello and then what i would do is multiply this with three and now when i print repeat it should give me hello three times yes as you can see hello 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 so this is as you can see is pretty uh, interesting now another aspect of tuples which is critical is unpacking them so and this is uh, pretty different as we can see from lists because lists do not have this kind of uh, feature so for this example let's take uh, the RGB codes uh, of a certain color and then after assigning this now we want to extract the red green and blue in separate variables so what we would do is like assign three variables like this and then we will equate them to RGB and now when we print red green comma blue they would they should give us the separate values yes as you can see we have been able to unpack the tuple and assign the red green and blue values separately so moving forward what we will be looking as as checking whether a certain element is in a list and uh, is in a tuple and it actually follows the same principle uh, that we use for lists using the in function so checking and items presence so this should be something like this let's again take the example of fruits that we had so let's suppose we have apple banana and um, let's say grapes this time around and then we will do print banana in fruit and this should give me a true output yes let's also test out a negative scenario let's say peers in fruits this should give me false yes and it gives me false so this was as you can see was pretty similar to what we do in lists as well uh, in terms of uh, finding the length of a list its length of a tuple it's similar to what we use in uh, lists as well we just use the length function but i will still give you an example to understand that so we'll use the same uh, tuple of fruits and we will just 
do print len of fruits and this should give me three yes it's giving me three now another thing is like if you want to count the number of occurrences of a certain element in a tuple we can also do that using the count function and i will show you how it can be done count occurrences of an item and let's see how we can do so we'll take a different tuple this time around so that we can explain the concept more clearly with some repetitive elements so for example let's take this one and we want to count the number of times the number two has appeared in this tuple so what we'll do is like create a variable like count twos and then we will do numbers dot count and then pass on two and then we will print count twos so let's see what we get yes we get three and there are three times that the number two has also appeared in that tuple and i will finish off with an important thing is like finding the index of an element so we did find the occurrence of an element and now we will try finish it off by how to find the index of a certain element so index finding of an element so it's pretty simple uh, so given the fact like we have let's take the, the same tuple for numbers and what we will do we will find the index of three in this tuple and what we will do is like numbers dot index and we will pass on the number three because we are trying to find what the index of three is and then we will say print three index so let's see uh, we should get three because as you know the num the indexing starts from zero and rightly so we have got three out here that was all from me today i will be posting more videos on this content so please do like share and subscribe my channel and press the bell icon for latest updates.